Louise Blaine. I'm the creative lead at Blumhouse Games. So I really love the the concept of working with a lot of the indies. Um, how that came about, the, the concept of well, to do that. I mean, I, I think as um, Jason talked about as a, a part of our announce, sure. the origins of Blumhouse as a movie studio came from taking creative risks, working with small teams, small budgets to create exciting things in horror. And I think a lot of horror does very, very well in that. It's new ideas, it's fresh ideas, it's people doing interesting things. Mm -hmm. And that's fully what we're are taking our approach for games. You know, we're looking at interesting ideas. We can take risks. People are doing interesting things creatively. They're really pushing scary storytelling forward. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking for, you know, working with development partners who are just as excited to do that as we are. Yeah. So that's kind of, we're, we're, we're continuing the Blumhouse vein into games. And I think you can see from our slate that the sort of diversity of what we've got on offer it's really interesting, just like the movies where you'll be like, well, I'm really into, you know, scare, you know, fear the spotlight style sort of scares, or I really want something psychological. I, I want something cozy. You mm -hmm. know, you're looking at Grave Seasons, you've got the coziest but murder a farmer sim. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've, we've got it. We think we're hitting everything there. I love that. I love that idea because uh, like my wife, she doesn't play horror games at all. But when she saw the trailer, she's like, I can see myself playing that cozy game, you know? Yeah. So I think that's going to help to bring a new, whole new audience to play these type of games, right? Absolutely. I mean, I've loved horror from when I could pick up a ghost story book or when I could initially watch Scooby-Doo or any of that. And I think horror is so vast. Horror is such a huge genre. Horror isn't horror. They're incredible indie horror games. Mm -hmm. And I think some people think that they can they couldn't do it. You know, they couldn't, they're like, oh, I'm not into that type of game. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, actually, horror is the kind of stuff that creeps up your creeps up your back or it's something that makes you think when you go to bed at night and you're, you really don't want to switch out the light. That's what horror is. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the way that our, lots of our, you know, we'll have games that people will expect. You know, I think, you know, something like Crisol is an incredible action shooter, but you use the little twist there is you use mm -hmm. your blood as ammunition. So you constantly sacrifice your life to shoot. Mm -hmm. But I think, as you said about your, your other half, Grave Seasons appeals because you're like, well, it's pixelated gore as well it's not something that people go oh i can't look at that it's yeah. another approach to that so i think i love the idea of people going oh here's an exciting horror game i didn't think i liked horror games but here i am playing it and i'm loving it yeah i, I also love the presentation uh during the press conference all the different types of the games that you have and um is this something that a lot of those going to come out this year is that something planned like every few months like how's that the schedule because it's a, it's a lot of games it's a lot of games it's <laughs> yes. a lot of games that i mean you saw our slate um yeah. the only game that we're focusing on talking about coming out this year is fear the spotlight that's okay. going to be our first release okay and from then we'll talk about each game as it comes out you know that's going to be our we're, we're not we're not talking about those those dates just now because we're just showing off yeah, what yeah. we've got in what we've got in store. We're having it as a nice threat, um, but Fear the Spotlight is our first release. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Fear the Spotlight. I really enjoy. I love the the '90s VHS yep. graphics because like, yep. I love I love '90s. I, I still have like VHS and everything, so it reminded me a lot of that. So tell yep. us a little bit about. Well, like, I think first off, what we were talking about with people playing horror games that maybe don't normally. Brian and Krista, uh, Cozy Game Pals, it's a husband and wife team, yeah. just made this themselves, very much their baby. And they wanted, they love horror so much, but they wanted to make a game that was inspired by the things they loved. So the sort of 90s aspect, sure. but also teen horror, also great characters, a really compelling narrative that would bring in everyone to experience that. So I think it hits so many beats for me. I love 90s teen horror. Like, I, I mean, Same. I literally have a ghost face tattoo. I love Scream, etc. So yeah. I think there's a, there's a real appeal to that kind of high school setting. Mm -hmm. And then you've got these great characters and you've got understandable places. You know, you're in a school library. You understand a school yeah. library and you understand how a school library feels when you're on your own. And it's that kind of, they, they've really sort of lent into finding properly atmospheric moments of silence and then those intense creepy moments but constantly pushing you forward with a really compelling narrative which we're so excited about so so let's say there's an indie developer they want to be they have a, an amazing idea that they want to you know present it to, to you and your team yep. what is it that what is it that you guys are looking forward to like um the most is it unique ideas is it what like yeah what? i think we're looking for creative creative approaches to horror things that people wouldn't have thought of before things that yeah. um things that will appeal to people things that are mysterious things that are intriguing things that are scary we certainly i think that in that way our remit is very vast because you know we can talk about slashers and found footage and sure. folk horror and cosmic horror we can talk about all of these things so if someone has a good idea like we're excited to see their approach to storytelling so we're, we're, we're really wide there yeah, and how was your the the, re the reaction from the team seeing 
finally announcing this and then the crowd because you were on stage yep. you know the crowd honestly the crowd were very excited uh seeing the trailer yeah uh they're they're very excited to see what you guys have planned more in, in the future it's know, been so. so lovely to see the reaction especially when we had to hold on to it for so long you know we've not talked and i think we have been really because we're coming from this place of horror passion seeing that then reflected in the crowds and then our responses people yeah. have been so excited and we're just we can't wait to keep making things that make people excited and i love the emotional response even to fear the spotlight people are so in because mm -hmm. like you they, they love that they love that they love the vibe but also the idea that it's a little different it's focusing on that storytelling but at the same time still being scary and creepy like mm -hmm. i love seeing everything that i've thought reflected back it's amazing yeah one, one last thing i i do appreciate uh how you guys are working with a lot of indie indie, indie developers because yep. especially now you know the past year or so with the layoffs and everything yep. right happening in the industry yep. i think this is like a new way to help people that can still show their talent and show their their projects to the world you know i think this is a the right step i think in my opinion i mean it's a devastating time for the industry mm -hmm. and we're focused on making sure that our indie we're working with indie devs we're you know being the yeah. change that we'd like to see you know that's it's a it's a horrible state uh, you know at the moment but that's are focusing on indies is something that's really, yeah. really cool. I really appreciate it. I it's, appreciate it's cool. that though. It's core to our ethos. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Well, thanks. And for more information about uh, Blumhouse Games, where people could go. So you can follow us, Blumhouse Games, on all the various social platforms, or you can check blumhouse.com forward slash games. You can see them all, or you can watch the Summer Games Fest stream to see our, uh, you can see our full announced slate trailer. Awesome. Well, congrats. Thank you can't so wait much. For, can't wait for the other projects to come Great up to too. chat with you. Thank you.